Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy minecraft video where today Mark of Winnie Zombie has another wonderful awesome challenge for us. Apparently this village is under great danger. In a few minutes it's going to be invaded by loads of natural disasters. Mark, thank you so much for inviting me here today. I think it's going to be awesome. Well it seems like the villagers have gone ahead and written me a note. So let's go and find out what it says. Hello Naveed. There is a command block that is spawning disasters every few minutes. You need to save this village by building a bunker underneath it. You only have a few minutes till we die. Wait, everyone could die? Okay, I didn't know about this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take out all these items. And it seems like they've given us loads of blocks of iron, some iron bars, and also some iron glass doors and some buttons to go ahead and save this wonderful village. Now, I need to build a bunker that is big enough for everyone. So what I'm going to do is build it straight underneath it. Now, we don't have much time, so we have to use every single minute to pretty much go ahead and build as big of a bunker as we can go ahead and do. Perfect. And there we go. Now, the only thing I'm really excited about is that hopefully we should be able to fit everyone inside and it should be big enough for everything. Now, I need to make sure it's surrounded by iron, which is probably going to be a very hard challenge for us. I'm a little bit nervous that some of the disasters could be really bad, even like a lava apocalypse. Something that could go ahead and get rid of every single one of these items and destroy our bunker. So we've got to make sure it's one of the strongest places we've ever built. Well, I'm so happy they've given me the majority of the items. For example, all these blocks of iron should definitely come in handy, which I'm really looking forward to using. So, well, let's get building. Now, it needs to be big enough for every single villager to fit inside. So I'm going to build it just a little bit bigger and I think it'll be perfect. Well, let me do this two on each side and I think it should be big enough. Even if it's small, I'm just hoping the disasters only last for a couple minutes, which is going to be really exciting. And I'm kind of hoping we can test out quite a few disasters just to make sure our bunkers would actually work. Well, let's do this guys. Let me clear away this floor and hopefully we should be able to use the majority of our blocks of iron to go ahead and save this wonderful village. I can hear all the villagers crying and pretty much they're all screaming about having a little bit of a worry that they won't be able to save their families. But they don't know, I'm here to save them. Well guys, let's do this. Let me go ahead and build our wonderful wall and perfect and I think we should be done in no time. Now, we got to find out if there's any source of light. So, let's go and ask Mark up for any zombie to go ahead and get us some. Mark, I'm going to need some torches, also some sort of sea lanterns or something, and pretty much something to keep all the villagers super busy. We could be inside this bunker for quite a few days, so we don't want to waste too much time and pretty much not do anything. Well, let's build a couple blocks on this side, and I think we should be done in no time. This so far has been super quick. Well, that's the bottom part of the bunker pretty much done. We just got to finish off the roof and pretty much do the staircase and hopefully get some light. Mark, did you get those torches we needed? Oh, perfect. Thank you. So Mark has given us loads of items and also some food so none of the villagers go hungry. This is going to be one of the craziest days I've ever had. Some of the villagers are panicking so much already, they're already inside. But villager, don't rush too hard because we're going to be stuck in here for quite a long time. And I don't think you want to be rushed. Well, let's do this. I'm just going to clear away the roof and hopefully we should be able to be done in no time. I'm kind of glad it's all working nicely and some of the villagers are actually looking forward to being super safe inside the bunker. Well guys, I'm really excited to tell you we've almost finished. So we've done the top and from above it looks like it's really secure. Look at it. The only thing we've got to make sure we do is that we don't get stuck in here. So I've got to make sure there's enough space just in case we need to evacuate this whole bunker. So let's just build around and we should be good. Perfect. There we go. And nice. And I want all the villagers to feel super safe inside as well. So I don't want them to feel rushed to go inside or anything. I want them to have a great time. Let me go ahead and put one iron glass door that we pretty much can't open unless we put some buttons. Which is why Marco Finney Zombie has given us loads. Okay, let's put the other iron door and let's put a button. And perfect. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Okay, let's clear away some more land. And perfect. Let's use... Oh, he wants to go inside. There we go. Perfect. Villagers, start gathering inside. We're almost at a time where we need to go ahead and be super safe. Well, guys, let's do this. Let me go ahead and pretty much clear away a little bit more area and we should be okay. Now, the first disaster is going to start in only a couple seconds. So we've got to be super quick. I'm going to gather all the villagers inside and we should be okay. Well, guys, let's do this. Mark, 
Get everyone inside. It's going to be crazy. I have a feeling the first three apocalypses is about to happen. Let me tell all the villagers to go ahead and gather inside. Villagers, hurry up. It's going to be mental. I'm going to go ahead and put an iron cage all the way around. And hopefully that should keep us safe as well. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's gather everyone inside. And we should be able to keep them all very safe. Okay, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is that everyone has gone inside the bunker. But the bad news is, is that the first disaster is on its way. A toxic wave of fire. This is not going to be good. Guys, it seems like this fire wave is pretty much going to destroy everything in its midst. And half the villagers aren't even inside the bunker. But I do see a lot of them are pretty much trying to get inside. And hopefully we should be good. Get inside! <laughs> I'm having to push them all in. And some of them are now curious to find out what's out there. Mark, how's it going my friendly zombie? Let's go upstairs and pretty much show you exactly what we've done. I'm hoping this sort of barrier is good enough to go ahead and save us. If it's not, I think it's going to be mental. Well, let me put my chest right here. And there we go. And let me check in all the items I won't be using for now. And hopefully we should be able to protect ourselves against this evil apocalypse. Now the only thing I am definitely worried about is that I think I might run out of so many items over the years. Well, villager, what do you think? I see half the villagers down there pretty much trying their hardest to pretty much get inside. Well, let's go make sure none of them are stuck out there and hopefully we should be good. Villagers, get inside. This is crazy. Okay, let's close this door. And there we go. And let's do this. It's almost at our front door. This is not good. I'm very curious to finding out if this glass door is going to go ahead and save us. No. Oh, good. I think we're okay. Villagers, run away. <laughs> okay, let's get up here and make sure everyone's doing okay. Now, we're pretty much completely covered by this fire. But I think we've done a great job in making sure it doesn't consume us. Well, villagers, you must be super happy in finding out the first disaster has been diverted and we've pretty much been all been saved. This is awesome. Well, let's do this. Let's go downstairs and make sure the bunker is holding up. Yep, I think we've done a good job. Well, guys, it seems like the first disaster is all complete. Well, let's wait for the next disaster. Oh, no. Guys, I think the next disaster is here. And it's pretty much given us hunger for so many seconds. We've got to be super quick. Everyone, hide. And I can see a whole horde of zombies right inside. We've got to be super careful. Look at all those zombies. Okay, let's go down and make sure we are completely okay. Everyone, quickly, let's go inside and let's see what happens. Gosh, this is mental. Okay, let's quickly go upstairs, and I think we've got to eat so much food. So far, we could die super easily. Um, I'm going to eat some cooked chicken, and let's do this. Come on, and perfect. Now, I can see a whole horde of so many zombies. Look at them all. And I do see a villager right in there pretty much trying to survive. Nope, he's completely dead. Well, guys, I think this is completely crazy. We aren't doing a great job whatsoever right now, and we've got to eat so much food for eight minutes to pretty much survive. But I can see there's zombies all around this world, and I don't think we're going to be able to survive this whatsoever. Look, they're everywhere. Okay, this is completely mental. But I think, thankfully, our next place is definitely holding up. Mark, don't go out there whatsoever. This is not good. Well, guys, this next disaster is definitely a challenging one. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to survive the hunger for so many seconds. Every single time we eat, our hunger goes and disappears. Villagers, I'm so glad you're all doing okay, but I have a feeling these doors aren't going to hold up. Nope, they're definitely not. But thankfully, upstairs, the fence is definitely doing such a good job. Look, I can see so many zombies everywhere, and it's definitely turning out to be such a crazy day. But I don't think we have enough food to keep us alive for another six minutes. So I'm just going to keep on eating, and hopefully we should be okay. Let me just eat some rotten flesh, see if that does anything. Nope, nothing. Well, we've semi-survived this disaster. Let's go and see if another disaster we could survive with this awesome bunker. The next disaster is going to be really challenging. It's a tsunami. But I think the tsunami spreads a lot quicker than we expected. Half the village is now consumed by water and is spreading super quick. Villagers! <laughs> There's so many of you guys left over. This tsunami has spread well too quick. Wait, why is the villagers dying? No! I see so many poor villagers dying, and even some of them don't know how to swim. This is going to be a very sad day. But let's go make sure our bunker is definitely holding up. So if we go inside, I think we should be doing okay. Let's do this. And perfect. Yes! We've done it! Awesome! This bunker is definitely staying up and above. This is better than I expected. Well, let's go up above and make sure everything's good. 
Well, I do think we have saved a few villages. We've got one, two, three, four, and five villages. <laughs> and then one zombie, and then me. This is definitely going to be such a hard day. Well, guys, I think we've done such a good job, but I do think the tsunami is definitely going to take forever to wash away. It's pretty much an impossible tsunami to survive from. Well, let's just get to the top and make sure we're going to do okay. Villagers, I'm so sorry that all of you guys are dying. Hopefully, we can actually figure something out long term. Maybe we can just raise all our houses a few levels above ground. Well, I can see a house over there that's pretty much above water. Where is it? Oh, there it is. See, we can just build from that. It'll be perfect. Well, I guess we'll survive the next disaster. Let's go and figure out if the last disaster we can survive from. This next disaster is definitely going to be one of the most challenging one. Now, this thing doesn't actually go ahead and create anything that we can protect ourselves from. The only thing I can try and do is pretty much try and block up our whole bunker with as many iron blocks as we can. But it's consuming everything we put in its way. And I think the more blocks we give it, the more hungry it gets. And pretty much there'll be nothing we can actually go ahead and use to survive. Um, I don't know what to do. I think the only thing we can do is if we somehow build above ground and we try and survive this. Let's do this. And perfect. And here we go. Now our bunker is right inside there. And I don't think it's going to actually go ahead and survive anything we put inside its way. Look, the whole village is getting consumed. Are we going to survive this ourselves? No! Oh, good. I think we've done it. I think we've gone ahead and survived. The thing we had to do is pretty much build from a block that wasn't attached to anything. But wait, it's going to get rid of everything and even all the villagers. No, there goes our bunker. Marco Funi Zombie was inside the bunker and I can't even see some Endermans trying to run away and save as many blocks as they can. It's not going to work out whatsoever. Well, guys, I think this is going to be one of the hardest challenges ever, especially now that half of our world is getting destroyed. I don't see any villagers or anything surviving this whole apocalypse. Well, guys, I think this answers it. I think we can actually go ahead and survive certain disasters with our bunker, but not every single one. Now, I'm going to try and reach Mark up for any zombie. Mark, here I come. <laughs> oh, that was mental. We spawned in a new place and I have no idea where we are. And now our whole world is lagging to bits. Well, guys, I think that answers it. Every single time a disaster is spawned, it'll pretty much destroy your whole world and there is no way of surviving any of it. Now, to look for a brand new village is going to be the hardest challenge and to try and outrun that crazy last disaster is also going to be impossible. Well, guys, I will see you soon in another crazy Minecraft video and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button is red and don't forget to press notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.